Here at Discovery Eye, we've been looking into accessibility features in Power BI a lot lately, as we've been building out a few public facing reports. For those people that don't know, accessibility is all about catering for your entire audience, including those people that may have vision, mobility, hearing or cognitive impairments. So in this video, I'll walk you through how to tweak your reports to make it easy to interact for those who rely on keyboard navigation using the Power BI tab order feature. The first thing we have to do is go to the view tab and open up our selection pane. Most of you are probably already familiar with this and it's the way that we can show and hide different visuals. But what you might have not noticed is the tab order, which sits just to the right of the layer order. And this is a feature that was released back in December 2018. So it's been here for a while. Selecting visuals in the report highlights them in the tab order list or alternatively, we can click on the visuals in the list to highlight them in the report. But you can see, as I use my keyboard to tab through the visuals, they haven't been arranged in what you would consider a logical order, and we jump around the page pretty randomly. So what I want for this report is for users to be able to logically tab through, starting from the top left, just like they're reading a book. So we can click and drag the visuals to put them in the order that we want and I can rearrange the top four items here, which is my report title, the business question we're trying to answer, and a summary of the key steps for using the tab order feature. In the same way, I'll set up these what if parameter sliders and the enlightened data story custom visual so that we can tab through these in a logical order. And it's important to note that it's only the visuals where we have defined a title, such as the what if and and over, that'll be named in our selection pane here. Otherwise, Power BI will just default a name to them such as text box, shape, or button. It's also best practice to hide any images or decorative shapes that we don't want people to tab through. And we can do this simply by selecting the number that's next to the visual name. If you wanna learn more, about the inbuilt Power BI keyboard shortcuts. All we have to do is click Shift Enter, which will bring up this summary box. And we can also click on the link to go to the Microsoft Docs page and learn more about these different shortcuts. If you wanna find more on the tab order or other Power BI accessibility features, then take a look at our other blogs or visit Megan Longoria's data savvy website, which has heaps of great accessibility tips. And don't forget that November is all about promoting accessibility reports across the data stories gallery. So get your submissions in and you can find this Power BI report tailored towards accessibility tips in the data stories gallery if you wanted to play around with it for yourself. Thanks a lot for watching and please share any of your own tips so we can all learn together to make more accessible reports.